It's been about a month since I originally did my first Flare walkthrough. In that video, we set up a hot wallet and used our Flare tokens to take advantage of many of the different features available to us. In this video, I wanna do a follow up to that, see how those tokens are doing. But also, in case you missed that first video, we're gonna brush up on all the different features that are available to us with our Flare tokens inside of the Flare network. This will also include Firelight for those of you that are holders of XRP. All in all, I'm very excited for the Flare network. Right now, Flare sits between 65 and 70 on coinmarketcap.com in terms of total market cap. In my opinion, we're going to see Flare rise possibly into the top 10 on coinmarketcap.com. And this is because I believe that Flare has the best DeFi platform in all of the cryptocurrency space. And that even includes XRP. The things that they've developed over at Flare Networks is truly incredible. We're gonna dive straight in, but just in case you missed the first video, I will have that linked at the end of this one. It's a lot more comprehensive in terms of setting up the hot or cold wallet. Because I've already set mine up, we're going to skip that element in this video. Now let's dive straight in. So first and foremost, you can access the Flare network simply by going into Google or in any search engine and typing in Flare network. From here, this is their home page. The features that we'll be looking at in today's video are under participate, where it says delegate and stake, and then also products where we see flare assets. This will also enable us to get to Firelight. We'll cover that one at the end of the video. For now, I wanna to stick to participate. I wanna show you guys the delegation and staking features that are available here on the Flare network. So we'll simply click on this button right here, and it's going to take us to another screen. You'll see right here, it says delegate or stake via the Flare portal. If I click on this, it will take me to that portal where now we can connect a wallet. So I'm going to connect my YouTube wallet. It only has enough tokens for me to get through these demonstrations. This is not my primary wallet. So right here in the top right corner is the connect a wallet button. When I hit connect, I'm going to get a few different options here. Because I'm using a Bifrost wallet for this video, I'm going to click on Wallet Connect right here, which is the second option down. If you have MetaMask, Coinbase, or Ledger, those are other options available to you. You'll notice if I click this, there's a whole bunch of different wallets that you can choose from. My primary wallet is the Descent Cold Wallet, but for the purpose of this video, I thought using a hot wallet would be more simple. So I'm simply going to pull up the hot wallet that's on my phone, I have my screen recorded right now. I'm going to hit the connect button and that's going to pop up a QR code scanner. Once I hit this QR code right here, I simply hit connect and voila, we're going to be good to go. Now, once my wallet's connected, you're going to see here, I've got this blacked out on your end. You're not gonna be able to see my wallet, but in the top right corner where it used to say connect is now your wallet address. You'll see here on the staking tab, this always is the default tab, by the way. When you log in, it'll take you to staking. In order to stake your flare, you need to have a minimum of 50,000 tokens, and you have to stake for a minimum of 14 days. Because this is just my test wallet, I never actually put that much flare on it to be able to participate participate in staking. On my primary wallet, I am staking my Flare tokens. You'll be able to see if I should be able to at least pull this up. Yeah, so let's just say I had 50,000 Flare to stake. What you're going to do from there is select an FTSO provider. Later on, I'm going to show you guys an analytics page that shows you all the intricate details of the FTSO providers that you can choose from. Essentially, what you're doing is lending your Flare to any one of these FTSOs. It's going to be locked up for a minimum period of 14 days, but it's up to you how long you want to have it staked beyond that. It's also up to you how many tokens you want to stake. Just keep in mind that as far as staking goes, there are going to be FTSOs that have a limit to them. So if they're at their limit, you won't be able to contribute more. You may have to play around with this a few times to get the FTSO that you desire to work. Some of them might be full, so it's always good to come back and check at a later time if the one you want to use doesn't have any more room. Take note here in the middle, we have this box that says it has a $50,000 minimum and a 14 day minimum, just in case you missed it. So this is the staking page. Now we're going to jump over to account. Now this is where the real fun begins. Delegation is currently more popular than staking, and here's what you can do with delegations. Every three and a half days, you can get what's called an epoch. 
You'll see that right here where it says claim flare. Every three and a half days, there's going to be more flare added to this pile. This right here is a flare drop, and the last flare drop goes live on January 30th. But I do believe there is a lock-in period. So if you delegate now, I do believe that you've missed that window to be able to participate in the January 30th airdrop. It doesn't hurt to try. One way or another, I do believe that delegating your flare is a really great idea. So if you do get your flare drop, it's a win-win. Otherwise, you'll do just fine getting your FTSO delegation rewards. So this is basically how it works. When you inject new flare into your wallet, you're going to see it in your flare balance. From there, you click on wrap and you can either use a slider to choose from zero to 100% or you can type in the exact number of flare that you want. Now in the previous video, we did all of that. So I'm not gonna load any new flare onto my wallet at this time. You can check that video out if you wanna see it from start to finish. Once you have your flare wrapped, you're going to see it added to the WFLR balance. As you can see right now, I've got 600. And you'll also see down below that my FTSO provider for this test was Flare Bus. If I wanted to re-delegate, I can. I can simply just go to the list. There's about 100 different ones to choose from right now. For these tests, I chose Flare Bus. If you wanted to, you can pick a second provider. It's kind of like racing horses. Maybe you only back one horse, but if you're not sure, they give you the option to pick a second one. Personally, I just went with one, but I know that there's people out there that have split them up. But check this out. As you adjust this slider, you can really get crafty with what you want those ratios to be. I'm just gonna go with zero for this one. Now let's do the fun part. Every time I come to Flare, I get to claim an Epoch, which gives me a little bit of a dopamine hit twice a week. Once we get through this, I'll show you guys some tools you can use. You'll know exactly when the next Epoch drops. For now, we're just going to hit claim. You can see right here, I've got a bunch of unclaimed Epochs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I did this video about mm, just shy of a month ago. So I guess really it's probably been about three weeks. I'm simply going to hit claim rewards. The QR code's going to pop up. I'm going to come back into my app. There's going to be a pop-up. I'll show my screen on my phone. You'll see it here it says portal.flare.network. There's going to be a confirmation icon. I hit confirm using my face ID. The transaction is now submitted. All right here, we've got one more thing to confirm. I'm gonna claim my reward. Hit the face scanner again. There we go, give it a few seconds, transaction complete. And now we're going to see there's nothing left to claim on the right. This function is the exact same way for the flare drops. I'm gonna go hit claim. You can see I've got one, two, three unclaimed. Hmm, well this is interesting. Maybe you guys will qualify for the January 30th flare drop. It doesn't hurt to try it. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna claim my distributions. Once again, I get the QR code scanner. I go to my phone, I hit confirm and we give it a few seconds about five ten seconds this thing should process waiting for network confirmation so there we go i do this um at least in the case of the delegations i probably check it on my main account about once a week and then the flare drops i just make sure to check in you know every 30 days if you don't claim them after 90 days they do go back into the pool so make sure that if you do get involved in this and i recommend that if you're a flare holder that you do just come in here and make sure to claim them every 30 days by the way disclaimer time i am not a financial advisor this channel is for entertainment purposes only in addition to that, I've got no connection to Flair beyond just being a loyal holder of their token. I'm not related to Hugo Fillion in any way, and I've never made contact with anybody from the Flair network. So moving on, the next fun thing for us to check out is going to be Flair assets. So if you wanted to get the Flair assets, we're gonna go back to the main page. We'll hit products and come here to Flair assets. Now this will take you to another screen where we will drag it down You'll see right here that it says Mint. This is going to take us to the Flare Assets Network. Once again, we're going to connect our wallets, the exact same procedure as last time. Do Wallet Connect. And there we go, we got our QR code scanner. Hit Connect, and we are connected. 
So you're going to see on the main screen here, there's a few different things to look at. Right here, we've got our collateral. That's going to be under flare. On the right, we're going to have the XRP that we've synced to this wallet. And down below, we'll have flare assets. And there's also stable coins, but I haven't done anything with these yet. I imagine this will be more important down the road as we have more rewards. So how does collateral work? Well, in order to mint FXRP, you've basically got to fuse together some flare and some XRP. There's going to be fees associated with this. And so what you can do is offer up your own flare to be used as collateral. You can see I've got just shy of a thousand flare in collateral right now. And what this essentially does is it allows my flare to be used to mint other people's FXRP, which will in return get me a reward of my own FXRP. Personally, I haven't found this to be very lucrative yet. Uh, I've been in this for a couple of months now. You can see there's only 0.02 FXRP here. I don't know if that's going to improve over time or if I'm just not contributing enough FLIR tokens to this, but in my personal opinion, the collateral hasn't been that lucrative. I'll keep experimenting with it. At the end of the day, this is just my experimental wallet, but I haven't exactly been blown away by the collateral rewards. Personally, at this time, I'm sticking with staking and delegating as I think that's more lucrative. But things don't stop there. If you want to mint your own FXRP, what you will do is go down here where it says F assets and hit mint. Now, in order to mint FXRP, you have to have a minimum balance of 13 XRP and you have to do them in lots of 10. So your minimum balance must be 13. Make sure that if you want to have, you know, a batch of say 50 XRP, just stick about 63 XRP in there up front. And then you're going to be able to, you know, do what you need to do as far as getting these minted. When you do mint them, there's going to be a flare gas fee as well. So make sure that you've got enough flare on your account to do that. I don't have enough flare in here right now to type it up, but if you had about 20 flare tokens, that should be enough to cover the gas fees on a small order of 50 XRP. And if you were going to go above that, eh, just load a couple more flare tokens. Maybe you have 100 preloaded. I think for most of you guys at home, that would probably be enough, at least for now. So once you have them minted, you would see your flare assets have a balance. Well, this is where things get really fun. I'm going to take us back to the flare assets page. And now we're gonna click on stake. So this is going to take us to Firelight, where if I click on stake XRP, now I can connect my wallet. Once again, we're going to do that. So just like before, I connected through my Bifrost wallet and now we can see my position. So I have roughly 300 FXRP in Firelight right now. You can see right here, I've already accumulated just shy of 300,000 Firelight points. These haven't been cashed in or redeemed yet, so none of us actually know what this is going to be on the other side. But Flare Network has said that sometime in Q1 of 2026, this will turn into real rewards, and at that time, we should have a better picture of what the actual yield will be. I've heard mutterings that there's going to be about a 5% yield on Firelight. Until we see it, we can't say for certain. But this is basically what I've been doing with my FXRP since it launched on December 3rd. Here's the bad news. The vaults are locked up. There's a 25 million limit on FXRP right now. And you can see on the left side here, it's full. Now this doesn't mean that you can't get in. So you'll see here, this is the outflows for FXRP. For whatever reason, there are some people out there that every once in a while, they do pull their FXRP out. Not really sure why they're doing that, but if you check back every once in a while, there's a good chance that eventually you'll catch someone who's pulled out, then you can put yours in. But otherwise, until the vault limits are increased, there's not a whole lot that we can do to get our XRP into Firelight at this time. When the vaults do open back up, you can absolutely be sure I'm gonna be letting you guys know. This to me is the absolute future. I mean, I'm so excited about this. I really almost can't put it into words. Those are the things that you can do with your Flare tokens and also XRP. Now, I want to give a really big shout out to Zerptwerp6445 for showing me in my live stream this really cool page called Canalytica. 
So this is really cool. This allows us to really take a deep dive into each of the FTSO providers. Not only that, we get to see a live countdown of their voting round and also the reward epoch timeline. So we're expecting on January 8th around 1900 UTC, that'll be the next epoch. They're about every three and a half days, but you could come here and find out the exact minute that they're supposed to drop, which I think is really cool. Just to give you guys something to think about, when Flare has its price appreciation, and I'm thinking it could happen by 2030, this could be a real form of passive income that you use to fund your daily lifestyle Maybe at the end of the month, you use it to pay off your mortgage or pay off your vehicle bill. So here on the FTSO performance tab, we can see all of the FTSO providers. There's about a hundred right now. We used Flarebus, so I'm gonna jump down and find them. And let's take a quick look at all of the things that they're engaged with. By the way, if you don't know what's going on here, the game that the FTSO providers are playing is to prove to the Flare network that they're able to report out accurate and correct data as far as pricing of all of these different currencies. Basically what these FTSO providers do is make sure that the pricing of each of these different coins or assets is correct. And when they are correct, they get what's essentially called a hit. And that's basically how the rewards are doled out. If we jump over to reward analytics, you can see here that uh, Flare Bus is, in general, pretty good. They've got an uptime score of 5.96. Their delegation is 7.6%, which is great. And their staking is at 13%. We'll see here in the reward breakdown, there's quite a lot of Flare tokens available. So all in all, they've done a pretty good job. You could come to here and really try to filter out the absolute best tokens. Some of these have a hit rate of 100%. So unfortunately, Flare Bus wasn't quite there. Keep an eye out for the ones that have the 100% list. Those are probably going to have the best rewards in the long run. But even still, look at the success rate on a lot of these. 99.9, a few of them are in the 98% ranges, but in general, this is showing out accurate readouts for all of these different uh, FTSO providers. And then if you want something very simple, just a flaremetrics.io, it's going to show you all of the FTSOs available, their vote power, and then the reward rate. Just take the reward rate and multiply it by 100 and you're going to get your percentages. So that was our second walkthrough of the Flare Assets page. I think it's really exciting to be able to see that those epochs are getting paid out every three and a half days. I'm excited for the last airdrop. I really do believe that the Flare network is the future of DeFi, which means that once the Clarity Act passes, I really have a good feeling that Flare's price is going to shoot way upwards. If you've been watching my channel, you know that XRP is my favorite coin. I would say Flare is probably seated at number two or number three along with HBAR. These are going to be very good coins to be holding in your own portfolio, not financial advice, entertainment only. Hold on to these and I don't think that you can be done wrong. I'm going to start wrapping up this video. If you do have questions, the best way to get them answered right now is to join my live stream. I stream every Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. As this channel grows, I'm just shy of 7,000 subscribers. It's getting harder and harder for me to reply to each and every comment. If you join the live stream, there's a very good chance I'll be able to address your question directly. If you're not able to make the live stream, that's okay. I'll still do my best to get through the comment section. Make sure to like the video. Also subscribe to the channel. It'll let you know when those live streams are out. And in general, it'll help get you plugged in with the XRP and Flare community. Beyond that, if you really want to help me grow, the number one thing you can do is share the video. Video shares are the number one thing that YouTube looks for when deciding whether or not to give a new channel a major algorithm boost. So all of these different things help me grow and it helps me get this information out to more people. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if you check in either of these corners, you should see a video showing you how to set up a cold wallet and another video showing you the original Flare setup. Check those out if you need a little bit more guidance to help get started on this. I trust the Flare network. I think it's safe to use this platform. And I really hope that a lot of you guys can get involved in the DeFi space because we are so early on this. I don't know if everyone can comprehend just how great of an opportunity this is. With that, I'm going to leave this here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.